All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and this is uh, our leveling Steam account. <clears throat> and this should be the episode in which we hit 14, unless we really hit some um, hit some bad bad streaks. We've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So we just have enough to get us through this episode. What I'd like to do, I think, is go around and see if we can't um, see if we can't get lucky on the bream. I guess there's a sweet order that calls for three. Uh, I don't remember the exact sizes, but with my with my current gear, I just have not consistently been able to catch nice bream. So, and current gear and current baits, to be honest. Um, so, but might as well keep trying. Not that I couldn't just fish that south bridge every episode, because I could. It's, it's uh, pretty good down there, but... It's nice to try other things, and looks like it's about right here. Yeah. All right, do we want pearl barley? At least to start off with. Twenty-five might be too far. Might be supposed to be 20, actually. Definitely don't want pearl barley on both, though. Um, I'll start off with red worm. We'll run out of that pretty quick, but... And that's fine if we have pearl barley on this one. Okay. We've pulled a lot of small bream out of old bird on this account. red worm. We need to change clip on that first one. This must have a fish on it. Huh. <laughs> Only the big fish come to the small rig. I guess we should look at the uh, hook sizes we've got. This one's probably at 12. Is that not even a marker? Oh, it is. 920. Okay. Yeah, that one's at 12 with pearl barley. These are probably both 8. Red worm, 8. Happy hook, 8 with pearl barley. Okay.
guess I need a backup plan here in case this doesn't go super well. We could go over to the two five meter hole if we want to try for more bream or we could go back down to the south bridge just to play it safe and hit 14. We're just trying to sort of ease into level 14 here um, and hopefully that will also give us enough money to get our third rig unlocked that is uh, reasonably strong. We're also about 3.7 points away from being able to use a leader which sort of does some interesting things. Um, gives us some options possibly to do some stuff a little different but we started fishing here too early I would say all right maggots or worms Go maggots for now. We really tried sweet dough on bream. I know we tried oatmeal. Let's try it while it's still early. There's a roach in it. At least it's a marker. Still haven't changed that clip. Let's try it while it's still early before the chance of really good bream start happening. anything on the sweet dough. Mm, something got on maggots. Swam right for the shore. Give sweet dough a couple minutes. See if it does anything. Two markers, one roach, one bream. Ow. Definitely pulled it over. Nice big roach. Let's wait till 2130. If there's still no bites on sweet dough, then we will change it back to something, probably to packed pearl barley. Looks like something's on the sweet dough. Let's see.
common roach. And it probably deserves more testing than that, but... It's a pretty long time without a bite there, so... Only because of that bream order in the cafe that would be pretty impactful, at least at this level, to hit, some, hit a level, hit a uh, cafe order like that. I think it's worth having baits on that we know are more likely to attract bream. There we go. Maybe just under a marker, but hopefully I'm wrong. maggots common roach I, I just worry about putting three pearl barley in to be honest because go on these stretches of getting so many undersized bream here maggots will occasionally catch bream and they will certainly catch as you've seen common roach and stuff to kind of help supplement the lack of experience and um, silver from the tiny bream that we're catching primarily. Yeah, this one's small. Let's see if I can decrease that clip size real quick before we throw this one back in. I don't think you have to cast it here as far as I thought you did. 20 seems to be fine, and even under that a little bit seems to be okay. Right, let's see what this is. This is an interesting test test fish in the debate for maggots versus pearl barley. I think that is a bream, and I think that is our first decent bream. 1.5. So that's why we have maggots on. I'm not sure if the pearl barley, I mean, we'll see. I and mean, pearl barley just hasn't been catching that many significant, it catches a ton of small bream here, but it's not like garlic dough where garlic dough right now seems to catch a lot of, uh, of the big bream, at least at Old Berg. Okay, now this shows promise and this is pearl barley. in terms of the order. I think the order is one of those where it's like 1.2 to 3 or something is the range or something around there. That's another good one on maggots, I think. Might not be quite as good as the last one, but it's close. So two in a row on maggots. 1.1, that might be too small. I think the 1.5 is probably okay. I'm not sure about the 1.1 though. Uh -oh. Cafe orders up for like a hundred hours though, so we don't have to rush to go check it after the night is over. We can just keep fishing. Oh, I didn't realize how close we were to 14. I guess those decent bream are adding up. Let's 
See if we can level up on a bream instead of a roach. It's a white. That's not a level up one either, I don't think. Oh, on the roach. Leveling up on the roach. happens. So. Max out spinning reel. Point in simple bottom rig. Point in ground bait. point in harvesting we could do a second point I think for me the choices is between finishing the spinning reel putting the point in the bottom fishing or putting one point in ground bait Passing distance and accuracy is not um, useless. I mean, it can be helpful. Starting to think about increasing the chances of getting a trophy, like for Cory, is what that would more be about. We're not using simple bottom rigs at Old Berg or Mosquito. I guess we could if we ever went to the Balaya. Maybe at Winding, or if we're going for a Burbit or an Eel or something, maybe we would, but. I don't think I want to put points in Paternoster though. I think we're going to hold out for Loop Rig. I'm kind of leaning towards the ground bait. I don't know how much it matters to have that higher rating on the ground bait, but even just one point, we'll see a lot more like quality four to six on ground bait and then the occasional eight to 10 so much more often than what we see now. We obviously, obviously use ground bait all the time.
and you know we still have the free reset on points Oh. All right, let's let's check everything. Really, the only one that would likely go unnoticed is maybe the maggots if a rough or something got on there. But <clears throat> even the small bream usually give us a directional indication one way or the other, either towards us, away from us, or something. So. Just not quite worth it. Unless you're going for a cafe order like we are right now, but too many unmarked. You know, in the shorthand, putting a point in bait harvesting, another point in bait harvesting makes sense because you fail less often, you're more likely to hit the red worms, which you just can't purchase them yet because of stock issues until you get to a future lake. I don't know if they're in stock at Quarry right now or not, but um, they may, you know, it may be hard to get them until you get to Volkov. So in that sense, it makes sense, but that's like the only reason and I'm not sure that red worm is at least at old bird doing that much better than the other baits right now so I am ready to not be catching these tiny little bream. But I'm also, 
not willing to give up on the possibility that we could hit that cafe order. Somebody just hit level 19 standing somewhere in the shallows. Oh, that reminds me of that movie. All right, that's Ford. Why does it still have me in the Ford? At least it's a marker. Alright, so we're not here for much longer.
Okay. The white bream. Still too small. So we've caught 46 fish, but so many have been non markers. time you probably remember this spot or these spots over here is broken. Back to bread and worms here on the two main main lines just to see what uh, what's around. Might be better to do maggots and worms. At least have a chance if tench come through. But I always like checking with bread. I mean. Especially all the carp species is mostly what you're going to see with the bread, but primarily the smaller carp species, but you never know. Spot might be pretty perchy on the uh, worms. All right. So our goal here is just to. Uh, 
grind out a little bit of silver here before we wrap this episode up since we spent so much time catching undersized bream. Bite rate from bread is pretty nice. I just hit level 15 on a really big grass carp. So we need to make more ground bait, we need to get more pearl barley. Maggots before too long.
and this is technically probably the better way to stand on this bridge if you're going to go sideways only because you're pulling away from that log so if you want to cast on the right side of this Uh, of this area, at least when you're reeling it in, you're kind of reeling it to towards the left, away from the log. I think it may be just time to start searching for Tench in uh, upcoming episodes, at least if we're here at Old Berg. I think the bream is just not quite efficient enough. just go for volume fishing like we're doing right now. Still haven't quite decided with that point yet. May sleep on it, may wait till next episode to put our point in. Ground bait, bottom fishing, or spinning wheel. You know, I think if spinning reel gave you any kind of control over the fish advantage, it would be a no brainer. But since it doesn't, it's uh just not quite the priority to me, but it still, be, it still may be worth just going ahead and capping it off. And we just don't have to worry about that one anymore. I think on my main account, the first time I leveled my main account, I'm pretty sure that that was one of the last things I did was do spinning reel. Because it doesn't give you any control of the fish, it just never made sense to me. Since then, I've heard so many people that are in the know about the game, and they do prioritize it, you know, pretty early. So I've kind of gone back on that a little bit, just based on assuming that the community is right, but. With feeder fishing like we do here, casting accuracy and distance past a certain point is just kind of overkill. You don't really want long casting situations and sometimes it's, you know, it's fine to have a little variety in the location where you cast. Cast day.
All right. Let's try something a little different here. Now this can be a really good spot down here. There's several good spots down here in the corner of the pond. Of course at a low level the thing you can be in danger of a little bit more is if a grass carp or something like that gets on and takes off it can be hard to get in front of it before it leaves the pond. Because now when the fish runs from us potentially can head out of the pond versus staying back into the pond to keep yourself from being spooled but if you feel something big get on, get on you can always kind of quickly start moving towards the bridge to your right from here and uh, do your best to try to cut it off all right so so far bread with the, all the crucians and stuff down here has been really good fast bite rates have not popped off yet but we do have a pretty small hook there I guess this is one of many spots at Old Berg where the tench can show up
big one. Not quite a trophy, but it's a big one. So if you need to change the scenery from the uh, from the bridge, this is a a good option. It's just really anytime you see all this moss stuff and reeds, especially in one spot with the lilies, the moss, the reeds. I mean, it's just certainly has some potential. And a good rule of thumb: a lot of times, if you're going for tench, throwing in this green stuff that's covering the top of the water tends to seems to you know be a pretty good option to find out if they're there the ground bait we just made it doesn't have any attractant on it it's just kind of regular ground bait So hopefully very soon we'll have enough to get our third rig going and then we can really focus in on crafting baits. One thing we can go ahead and do is uh, we can get some wheat seeds so we can put those in our rotation and then start working towards the others, things like garlic dough. We're at 91 fish. Too bad so many of those were 
undersized bream in the beginning. Closer to filling the net up. So we're at 220 silver already. It's hard for me to imagine that we're not going to hit enough with this to be able to get our third rig might be worth traveling to winding and then mosquito since it's free travel that direction at least to see about saving a little bit of silver on the purchase and then also maybe getting some wheat seeds because i think those are at winding if i'm not mistaken so we can make this wheat grain we just need we need not wheat seeds we need wheat grain to make the wheat grain bait And so I think that's something we have to get at winding, but I could be wrong. All right, that's 94 fish. We're almost there. All right, 97. Ninety-eight. Does it actually let you put a hundred in there, or does it stop at ninety-nine? I don't actually remember. For some reason, I have a feeling it stops at 99, but it says it goes to 100 on the counter, so maybe it does. All right, so this will be 99. A little crucian. And this will be 100. One hundred fish. I think we were fishing for about an hour, yeah, fifty six minutes. So And then I guess the next thing would be, especially if you're fishing in a hot spot like that pond where you can catch that many fish in an hour. The next thing would be 
sort of dialing it in, trying to get as high a percentage as possible as, of markers based on your hook size and baits, line, leaders, whatever. I know on my main account, and you know, it's different, spots change, migration, bait changes, all that, but I know on my main account, like, I've gone down there with some, you know, like, fluorocarbon line or leaders at just the right size, with just the right hook size and baits, and I mean, it can be pretty phenomenal in terms of your percentage of markers and really good fish, but not all of those tools, not all of those skill points, of course, are available when you're leveling up. Which is good. I mean, it's something to look forward to. But you still feel like you have a chance of catching some good fish even without all those tools. Sometimes it's hard without some of the baits. Um, like, you just sort of know, if I had garlic dough... I'd be able to do a little better on these bream, but it is what it is. All right, so let's uh, let's count off seven of these. It's pretty good order. So that's 26 silver for some roach. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, we didn't do the rough. I don't think we got in near enough perch. Nope. Man, this tench would have been so beautiful. First of all, 2.4 kilo tench for us right now would just be amazing, but we were one short of the stinking bream, and that would have been 44 silver. Man, it's almost worth just going right back out there, isn't it? I'm trying to get one more bream. 44 silver, don't we kind of have to do that? All right, so first of all, let's look at, uh, so 88 silver for all fish. Um, let's just go ahead and get rid of the undersized bream. What happened? there are those crucian carp orders give old court carp orders too I mean I assume we're not gonna see that all right we are gonna try to get lucky on getting that last bream here for 44 silver I mean come on we've got to right okay uh, let's try a different spot though We're going to go try casting in from the other direction down here. We'll go pearl barley, maggots, pearl barley again. I used to love this casting onto the right side of the island. I just don't know that this spot is, has not been good in a long time so and it's a long cast as well if it's not any good still has a clip on it, doesn't it? We need one bream over a kilo. Wait, do we not have any base left? Oh my goodness. 
We may have to run to town just to get base. Because I suspect we're not going to get lucky in the first couple ones here. Little undersized fella. We know all about those, don't we? Well, it looks like we're going to make a little longer video here. Not a lot longer, but a little longer. It just kind of worked out perfectly that the time I was going to stop is leading right into sort of ideal bream time. So there's a chance. Might as well take that chance. We already have 250 silver, so we're pretty much at the point where we can afford that third rig. Uh, do we want to do anything other than crackers? The other option would be semolina. I don't think so. We still haven't spent our silver, so I don't mind. I mean, we still haven't sold our more valuable fish, so I don't mind spending a little bit of silver because we'll still have enough to get the rig, I think. I hear the bells. Big money, big money. It's a roach. We need to get this one first. I assume it's been on there the longest. We'll get the other one and then we'll make the ground bait. White bream. This would not be it. It is a bream, but slightly too small. to 10% on ground bait.
Okay. God, I gotta take the clip off of that one. I don't know. Maybe it's good to have a clip on it. Go to the same spot every time on that one rig at least. I think we're probably clipped at 20 on that one. Which might not quite be far enough, but it might be. This is the time from now till about what 2 a.m. At least here at Old Berg, it seems to like not be as strong through the night. Uh, it cuts off at some point. I don't know. It's been bream fishing's been weird for me here, at least with this early level gear. dark I can't really oh it'd be cool if we caught it on this one wouldn't it it's probably not quite big enough but I think it's a marker at least Well, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Throw a red worm out there. see the lines hardly. Alright. 
two possibilities here. One's on pearl barley and one's on maggots. This one's too small though. red worm. That was a common carp on uh, on maggots, which does happen every once in a while. We've seen it a few times now. We've been using uh, maggots so much. At this point, we have seen it a few times. All right, come on, come on, break that kilo. Maybe not. Ugh. Touch it too soon, that's the red worms. Nope. A little white or something. Uh, rough. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, Pearl Barley. I don't know. It's a little too small, isn't it? Well, I was going to spin the silver at the end of this uh, uh, episode, but since we're going so long trying to get this bream, I guess we'll just uh, maybe do that at the beginning of the next one. I hope I remember. We need to do a little bit of pearl barley first, since it's the lower level thing, and then do a good uh, few wheat grain According to how much silver we have left after getting our new rig, we also obviously need to do some ground bait. All right, this will be the last fish on red worm there. Well, hey, this is legitimately a chance here. if we can legitimately get it in.
Let's try not to fight it when it's fighting. It'll pop off. This cheap, cheap rig we've got here. If it wants to run, let it run. If it is a bream, it'll tire out. Tried to swim away for a second there. All right, <laughs> biggest bream of the day, and it was on the smallest rig. Oh, nothing ever bite on that red worm. All right, let's give it a second, and then we'll head in. So what are we at? About an hour twenty-five. It's a long episode. Last red worm, Let's see what we got on that. A white bream. So it does look like the red worm are catching the small species of bream uh, pretty good. So it's kind of interesting. Forty-four silver. Pretty nice. All right. Seventy-eight. So probably the best we've done in one day. We caught a lot of fish, <clears throat> and that bream order obviously helps a lot. So I'm not going to purchase it here, but. What we're gonna get at the beginning of the next <clears throat> beginning of the next episode is uh, one more hysteria, I think, <laughs> and uh, one more Lacerti, and then we'll have our three set up to try to start doing some damage. Okay, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.